Dallas, uh, Carolina, their uh, passing defense, second in the league. Uh, what have you guys noticed that uh, you know they do so well? And what can you do to, uh, I guess, uh, have success against that defense? Yeah, they just they just kind of bring a lot of different things. Uh, the more you watch them on film, there's little tells here and there. Um, but you know, we just got to attack them the same way we do um, every other game. We've noticed the chemistry with you and Jalen kind of grow as, as the weeks go on. How how comfortable are you with him right now, and, and kind of just the overall feel for each other, I guess. Yeah, I think Jalen's been doing a great job out there, just commanding the whole offense, uh, going through his reads, making the right play. Um, you know, and I, I felt comfortable with him ever since he got here, um, working with him in the summer before camp, and then just kind of growing with him during camp with everything that the coaches want us to do. But uh, I feel really comfortable with him back there. Um, I feel like I can be an outlet for him whenever he needs. Um, so that's just kind of what you want with the quarterback. Yeah, also you had a touchdown taken away due to a penalty, and you guys have had, you know, obviously the most in the NFL right now. What do you think you guys need to do, and how do you go about correcting it and, and being better in that area? Yeah, it's uh, it's just little things, you know. It's you know, some of them are you know judgment calls by the refs, and then some of them are mistakes that we're making on our own, the pre-snap penalties and stuff. Um, it's just it's just focus. We need to be focused. We need to make sure, uh, you know, we're not giving the refs anything to call. Um, obviously, other teams are going to be in their ear telling them we're doing this, they're doing that, and stuff. So we need to be really detailed and make sure that you know we're not hurting ourselves. We're not giving the refs anything to call. And, uh, you know, it's, it starts with us. Has there been an extra focus on that, you know, whether it's today or whether it's last week, as the season has gone on and it's kind of piling up, or do you still treat that like you would, you know, any other week? Yeah, um, you know, Coach has been bringing it up in the team meetings, talking about it. Uh, this last one on Monday, you know, we talked about it more than we have. You know, it was – he was yelling at us a little bit more, talking about it, being more serious. So we'll see what it's like at practice. Um, but I think everybody knows it's something that we need to fix. You know, it shouldn't be on him to make us do the right thing. We should be doing the right thing. Um, so I think it'll be something that we'll be able to fix um, because if we don't take control of it, you know, it's just going to keep piling up and keep hurting us more and more. And they're going to keep looking for it more and more. And we got to make sure that stops. How uh, accounted for both you and Zach when you are in 12? Uh, it's less this year uh, than previous, previous years. Are you guys still being as productive? Um, as productive in 12 personnel? Uh, I wouldn't say we've been as productive in 12 personnel just because we're not in it nearly as much. Um, but when we are, I think we've been doing a good job. Uh, anytime me and Zach can be on the field, I think we can create matchups. Um, but, you know, just kind of how the game plan's going, what plays we're calling, and, you know, what's best for the team. On scramble drills, when when the uh, when the play breaks down, what goes through your mind? What's your goal? Yeah, my goal is you know to see where Jalen's moving and work with him, uh, be able to feel the defense on me, and you know give them a move move while I push up, come back down. Uh, if you feel green grass, I just try to run to it, and I just always try to stay in correlation to him with my eyes on him, knowing that you know he can extend plays and he can get anywhere at any time. That, how much of it is, is where Jalen's going and how much of it is where the other receivers are on the field? Because Shane was talking about how you need that high and the low in the middle. That yeah, it's stuff. definitely both of it. Um, you know, usually in a play, you kind of know where everybody's going to be before the scramble happens. Then when it does, you know, if, if you're running to the left and he goes to the right, you make the turn and you just kind of see where it's open. But yeah, like you said, if you're on the sideline, you want to. Uh, just find different ways to create separation um, and then just, you know, wait until the ball comes that way. And, and now this might seem like a, like a stupid question. I bet never played the NFL before. Is that, is that something you guys can, can like, work on, or is that just backyard football? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of both. It's something that you can work on, you can get better at. Um, but for me, I feel like it's a lot of feel. Um, like you said, if you played backyard football, if you played at recess, things like that, you just kind of know how to get open. You didn't have plays to get open. And that's what it turns into. You know, you can't just stand there and let the defense stand beside you thinking that you're open. You got to be moving around. And, you know, it's just like another play within a play. Was there a moment when you saw Devontae on the field that you uh, the grant year like this kid has? Or was there something that, that stood out that you can recall early on when he got here? 
Yeah, I mean, it didn't take long uh, to figure out that he was going to be a great player in this league. Um, shoot, it was probably one of the first times that uh, – Coach put on his releases on film with his jab, being able to move people the way he does, um, him being able to get in and out of the breaks the way he does. You know, he's a special talent, and I think he can be a great player in this league. Uh, Coach Sirianni. In like, in like a, yeah, I probably wasn't a team meeting room, but with like the wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, you know, uh, it was on the teach tape, uh, teaching a, a jab, can move a guy, and you get the release, and you know, sell the head deception and all that. He does a great job with all of it. Dallas, is it, is it you know, with the losses, uh, obviously it's very frustrating, mistakes last week. Is it better to go in um, to this week's game with, a, with, you know, let that chip grow on your shoulder as a team, as an attitude going in to be angry um, to end this, this streak? Yeah, we need to find a way uh, to get in the win column. I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, there's a chip on the shoulder, something like that. Um, it's a dog mentality. We look, we go into every week wanting to win. Um, but, yeah, we, we need to get in the win column, and I feel like we got to do whatever it takes to get there. Hey, Alex, I'm putting you on the spot here. This just, just, just broke. Um, but the Panthers trading for Stephon Gilmore. You're obviously playing the Panthers this weekend. What's your reaction? I'm going to hear that. Yeah, I mean, St Stephon Gilmore, he's a, he's a great player. Um, I feel like anywhere he goes, he can make a team better. He was the defensive player of the year, what, two or three years ago. Um, but, yeah, it just, it's just another challenge that we have to overcome. You know, it's they're going to have 11 guys on defense no matter if he's out there or not. Um, and we just got to find a way to get open, be able to run the ball, be able to score touchdowns in the red zone. When, when other defenses put cornerbacks on you, uh, what's, what's the advantage that you feel like you have at going against corners because of your unique skill set? Uh, my advantage on those is that usually I'm bigger than them. Um, I can use my size to my advantage. Uh, they have the quickness, so I just try to use my power, just try to pick an edge, uh, run through it, and, you know, chicken wig, create separation that way.